Hello YouTube. Here is a early 80s Seth Industries Emperor ceiling fan. This is in my office and I'm gonna turn on the light for you guys. It's a J-hook mounted fan. And I'm gonna start it off here on low. Now, I just got this fan today off of Let Go. It has resemblance to a Moss Emperor. I um, would show reverse, but it's so powerful. I did a video before, but it turned out to be an outtake. It actually started knocking things off my the desk and off the shelves. And um, it's in my office, so there's a lot of papers in here. I don't want to blow all the papers around. So there's not going to be any reverse for this fan, but it does work. But I'm not going to show it because of all the loose papers and everything around. So the only modifications I've done to this fan, one was an accident. I was tightening the cotter pin, or cotter pin, whatever you call it on the Emperor's. It was like a long screw with a nut on the end. And when I was tightening, tightening it, it actually broke off where the nut was. So I tried it again, and I ended up shortening it, but it managed to get it in, and it tightened easier after it broke. And the second thing I actually did, this one I had to do, I only did a couple months to it. I loosened this light up a little bit, and I had to turn the socket to fix this chain, because this chain was like in one of these little holes right here. One of the little venting holes in the light kit. It's supposed to be here, because this is where it's lined up. So I put it there, and um, yeah, here's how I, it's a very powerful fan, and I mean extremely powerful, but that's what you get, you know, with SAF. Moves a lot of air, and you know, we're just going to do a spin down of it. Uh, like I said before, I would show it in reverse, but due to all the loose papers and things around, um, I'm not showing it in reverse because it blew all the it blew um, a lot of stuff off the shelves when in the outtake, and that's why it wasn't outtake that. And also, my friend called me and I lost the video, but that's all right. It wasn't that good anyway, so I decided to do a retake of it. So um, yeah, I was. It has one blade that's very scratched, but it matches the furniture in this room really well. It has like a cherry veneer looking. It's like a really light cherry color, kind of like the Quick Connect blades. Cherry, but a lot lighter, like a kind of like a mix between cherry and oak, or like cherry and like ash wood, like really light. It's like a light cherry. Well, this fan, I don't know if these blades were restained sometime in his lifetime, if they were clear coated or what. But they're very shiny on the bottom for some odd reason. They're not like gloss, but it's like somebody cleared over the, the wood. And um, the finish on the top is a lot different than the one on the bottom. The top's very like matte, like faded, like normally. This bottom has like a, sh like a shine to it, like it's been cleared. Um, I did not do this. I just installed it. It's got a, I believe it has a cast iron spinner motor in it. It's, it weighs 15 pounds, the motor itself, is just, it's 15 pounds for the motor, and I would assume the blades are probably like 2 or 3 pounds assembled on the fan. I haven't actually weighed the fan completely assembled, but it weighs around 15 to 16 pounds. Um, it has a very long spin down time due to the bearings being very good on this fan, and um, it's a very good quality fan. You really can't find fans like this anymore. I mean, no, you can't, you know, you can probably find nice fans, but you can't find new ones like, that are built like the old ones. The old ones are built so, like tanks. This thing, it even came with a light bulb, hilariously enough. I'm not even kidding. I took off this cover but when we were transporting it in the car, and um, there was a bulb in there, which I actually have. Um... Right, I think this is it. Right here. Perfectly good light bulb. 
And, um, yeah, that was the video of this 1980s Saf Industries Emperor, a.k.a. Marco Polo, ceiling fan. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day, everybody.